What is up, YouTube? It's your boy V, and I'm back in this thing with another video. into this video make sure y'all go shop Deja and be Italian right now and get your hoodies either white or black you can click the link in our bio right now and get your affection hoodie on sale right now so today I am coming to y'all with a fire story time with a crazy story time so let's go so this story time is basically about how a celebrity youtuber influencer stood me up y'all they stood your boy up like they just Completely went ghost on your boy, y'all. I wasn't gonna tell this story before, but you know what? I might as well tell it because, you know, it's something that happened. I'm not gonna say the person's name because everybody, like like I said, they're, they're influencers. They're, so, y'all know who it is. So, I'm gonna come up with another name and we are gonna call this influencer We're gonna say her name was Keisha. Keisha has at least I can't see the followers because y'all gonna know who it is then. But they have a lot of followers on Instagram and has a YouTube channel, y'all. Okay, so Keisha posted one day was like, hey, I have a job opportunity. Anybody want it, you know, message me, DM me. At the time, I was working at a job that I was getting up buku early, traveling 45 minutes just to get to work. And I'm like, well, it's a job opportunity, but it'd be a good learning experience to, you know, work with this person and see how they do this, see how they handle their business and all of that. This is the second time that I seen that Keisha said she had a job opportunity posted. The first time we had just moved out here we only have mandates we only have one car i wouldn't be able to go to atlanta and back every single day when deja had to go to work and i have to go to work we only had one car so i was like you know what i won't be able to do it this time so you know i'll just you know if it's if it's if it's meant for me it'd be for me so when she posted that she had a job opportunity the second time i'm like oh you know let me let me take it so i messaged keisha i was like by job opportunity i'm available so keisha texted me back the information about the job basically what i'll be doing how much they pay all of that all of this and that right so i'm like oh, okay it's not you know it's not that bad like i said i can learn from what keisha does and how she handle her business and you know different things like that so i was like okay cool I'll, i'm a, i'm interested so they text back when am i available for an interview i text her and i told her saturday if possible like i said i was working she you know asked me my phone number all of that we exchanged numbers so she texted me on regular iphone messages she was like okay look i'm going to send you this confirmation to schedule your interview this and this and that so everything running smooth right smooth so i'm like okay cool i'm in a duck i got an interview like it's lit i'm about to you know i didn't tell you i have been watching this person for the long i feel like if you watch youtubers then you know who this person is like I said I'm not saying their name but I was a supporter of them so um she texted me hey this is the location for your interview Saturday at I think they said Saturday at 1 bring your ID and all of that I'm like okay cool I'm in the door I'm like oh hey I just know once I go to this interview I got it so Keisha had an incident come up within those days and she ended up having to reschedule which was fine but not cool at the same time so my interview was scheduled for Saturday but I had work Monday. So Keisha texted me and was like, hey, can we reschedule to Monday? I have such and such going on. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's understandable. I told her, yeah, off the rip. I had to call the job that I was working at at the time. I'm like, hey, I have an unexpected appointment, a uh, doctor's appointment Monday, you know, can I come in Tuesday? I won't be able to come in Monday like that, right? So my job was like, oh, we're gonna be busy this day. I was like, all right, can I leave work early? They was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll be getting through the day. So Keisha texted me and was like, okay, Monday, three o'clock. I said, okay, cool, Monday, three o'clock. The weekend passed, I'm excited. I'm like, okay, man, yeah. And me and B, like, me, I'm gonna really get this job. Like, in the future, I'm gonna be like, I work for this person. You know, it's gonna introduce me to new people. It's gonna show me the ropes of how, you know, how to run a business. It's gonna show me how you take care of certain situations and certain things that they do, especially with her being an influencer. It's gonna show me, you know, how to deal with certain situations with me wanting to be an influencer. And let me tell y'all right now, I, I never wanted the job position to get clout off the person. It was never, ever, ever a thought through my head and be like, oh yeah, if they see me with this person, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, it was that never one because I'm not that type of person. I want to become successful through me, not through somebody else, basically what I'm trying to say. Not know me from being with Keisha. It was never about, you know, having clout. So 
Saturday come, I'm like, okay, cool, let me find out what I'm gonna wear. Sunday come, I'm like, who? Almost that time. So it's Monday, the day of the interview. I'm ready, I'm hyped. I'm like, I know I'm gonna get this job, it's lit. I get up, put my uniform on, I have to go to work. I text Keisha when I got to work, and I'm like, um, are we still good for the interview today? You know, to confirm that, you know, 3 o'clock, I'm coming through for the interview. It was like around 1.25, I said around 1.25, I text the number that, you know, Keisha was texting me off of, and I didn't get a response within an hour. So I'm like, you know what? She's she probably busy, you know, doing other things. So, um, I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna worry about it. So I get off of work, I head home, freshened up, you know, put my clothes on, um, and chill until like 2 o'clock. It take me at least an hour to get to the city during that time because it's around 3 o'clock, around 2.45, 3 o'clock, that's when traffic starts. So I left the house around 2 o'clock. I made it to the city at like 2.45. So I stopped at the gas station. So I'm like, okay, let me wait a little minute to see, you know, if they text me back or whatnot. And no text back, no red, no, I wasn't left on red or nothing. It just said delivered. So I'm like, okay, they might, you know, still be busy. So I was on my way to the location that she sent me. So I made it to the location at the 2.55. I made it to the location, y'all, because I wanted to be early on time, get it out the way. Okay, so I know what kind of car Keisha dropped. I pull up to the location, and I didn't see the car. I'm like, hold on. It's, 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 two, it's, it's about to be 3 o'clock now. Just the location. Well, Keisha, at this point, I'm not going to lie. I was... Very, very nervous because it's like, oh my goodness, I'm about to meet you. I see how your energy is if you seem cool. No, I text Keisha at actually, I text Keisha at 2.55. I text her when I made it. I said, I'm at the location you sent me. So, remind you, she didn't text back from when I asked her if the interview was still on. I texted her again until I'm at the location that she sent me, you know. 3 o'clock on the dot hit, y'all. And I checked the message again and it said red at 3 o'clock. So, I'm like, okay, so she must be about to pull up. She just seen my message, you know. So I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, so... 305 hit. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get out the car and let me go inside the, inside the place and see, you know, if they're ready to do the interview. Like I said, she read my message, said I was at the location, but she didn't respond back to, are oh, we still on for the interview, right, y'all? So I get out the car, I walk up to the place, I knock on the door. Somebody that Keisha knows opens the door. And I was like, I'm here for the interview. They was like, okay, hold on. So the person that Keisha knows went back in the you know in the place so i'm like okay that was weird i'm like okay but i know who you are <laughs> so two seconds later somebody else comes to the door right y'all and i just know i'm about to just walk in and be ready and see you know keisha they open the door and it was like oh the interview's done for today what you... i was like oh keisha told me to be here for three he was like oh no they're done for today at this point, y'all, I was so upset, bro. Like, I was highly upset. Keisha left me on red. She didn't respond back when I, you know, confirmed that the interview was still on for today. I make it to the place, and Keisha not even the one who's there. Somebody else is there. And then the third, fourth thing is, Keisha didn't even, you know, tell me, oh, we're not doing no more interviews. Thank you for coming. She didn't even text me or nothing. This whole time, you know, been texting me, can we reschedule? Can we do this? Okay, meet me at this time. But when it's finally time for me to get... Yeah, you ghost and you leave me on red. That was a waste of my time. I could have been getting money at the same time because I could have stayed at work that whole day. I wasted my gas. It's 40, it was about 45, 50 minutes away. Y'all, I was so upset. At the same time, I'm sitting here like, why would you give me a specific time to come? Right, you give me a specific time to come, but when I get there, you're not there. You have somebody else answer the door and then have somebody tell me that they're done with interviews for the day. And that was so unprofessional. I didn't unfollow her on Instagram or none of that. I didn't, I'm not doing none of that. At least you was professional enough to tell me, oh, I want to schedule an interview or do this. Keisha still haven't texted me. Still, I just was just left on red. Oh, I didn't get no apology. Oh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Another thing is, while I was sitting at the um the place where they told me to meet, where she told me to meet at, right? I got a notification saying that Keisha was about to post a video. Come here. You about, you about to post a video? What? How you about to... In my mind, I'm like, you at home? And you got me driving the 45, 50 minutes an hour? Almost an hour and you're sitting at home about to post a video wherever you at you about to post a video because you wasn't at the location you told me to be at. So you had to be somewhere where you had Wi-Fi and somewhere where you was comfortable that you about to post a video on you 
but you're about to post a video. When I seen it, I'm like, oh, it's probably somebody from her team. This was before I even went in the uh, place, y'all. I'm like, oh, it's probably somebody from her team about the, uh, that's posting a video or something like that. But like I said, I didn't get no text the next day, no apologies, no. I just felt like the whole situation was very unprofessional because you're supposed to be this influencer and, you know, you were looking for someone to hire and I was an applicant and you didn't even take the consideration to text me. After that whole situation, y'all, I just looked at the business aspect of Keisha totally different at the same time it made me want to push harder to start my own stuff but at the same time I didn't need to work for you it was a sign that I didn't need to work for you because if I did start working for her I'm not gonna lie they shouldn't be a tire that would have been pushed to the side because I would have been trying to you know focus on oh helping Keisha doing this with Keisha you know focused on work all in all it's all cool I still follow Keisha on Instagram <laughs> it feels so weird calling her Keisha. Um, I was just very upset and I found it very unprofessional. And yeah, that's basically my story time of how I got stood up by an influencer, YouTuber, whatever you want to call them. Alright y'all, that's gonna conclude this video. If y'all wanna hear more story times, let me know down in the comments below. Let me think let me know what y'all think I should have done in this situation or what you would have done in this situation. Would you would have blocked them, stopped watching them all together, just lost our respect for them? Or you know, would you still rock with them even though the circumstance, circumstances and all of that? And another thing y'all, don't come in the comments asking me who the, who Keisha is because I'm not telling y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all go shop Deja and be attire and get your affection hoodies right now, black or white. The link is down in the description box below. Make sure you go click that and shop your affection hoodie. And I'll see y'all in the next, I'll see y'all in the next story time if I do another one. <laughs> Peace.